Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my grown extended family. Thank you so much for allowing me to be able to help along with your journey. It's truly a blessing for me to be able to put some kind of sense towards people's lives to let them know you are not alone and you're not losing your mind. <laughs> So I'm glad for you to be in my life because I'm blessed to be in yours. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Also, if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video. Or you just up tell me about your impact, the gift, and how it impacted your life and hit you towards a positive direction also um, if you feel like the video is giving you you know good vibes or good information you would love to share with a loved one family or friend or even a fellow impact that you know have need confirmation as well as validation towards their life path or even their soul journey please go ahead and share them while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit and thank you once again for the uh, love and support I'm truly appreciating of that and I you're able to resonate with the content of my video and today I'm uh, listening to the meditation of Zen meditation healing music sleeping music relaxing music I will post that link in the description box below if y'all hear any banging in the background you know I'm getting uh, a new uh, what is it air conditioner ducks so they're like banging everything up under my house so I'm just like you know trying not to you know let that stop my flow so if y'all hear any banging around that's what you hear um, today my video is about Twin Flame 101. When you, hey, Oak is when you live your life for you and no one else. You know, it is a beautiful blessing um, to be able to live your life as being free. You know, it's already enough as it is, you know, to be able to be judged. You know, you're being shunned away because you're a gift. People think it's a mental illness. Uh, being able to know that you're not alone on this journey. There are so many of us going through trials and tribulations each and every day and still trying to find a beauty. And the blessings of each day you know we're here for a reason we all have our part to play in this thing called life um, being able to help uh, rise towards any kind of you know diversity is truly a blessing being able to have a community where you know you're open to be able to talk about everything you know I feel like I'm I feel blessed to be able to have people that are comfortable enough to share things on, on the channel we're a loving family you know I don't talk uh, I don't have time for any kind of negativity if I ever feel like somebody's being negative towards me or towards anybody you know um, in the family you know they're automatically out you know I feel like I wanted to go ahead and make a community platform for others to be able to find a way being able to know that you know you're not alone there's other people that can totally relate to what you're going through um, it's already scary enough as it is when you have different kind of occurrences that come into your life that you know you don't quite understand you don't understand why you're going through the things you're going through it can it, it can feel make you feel like you're there's a hindrance other than a blessing because it's just like it took me so long to not feel like the things that were placed upon my life uh, was a curse you know I, I, before I used to say you know we were doomed from the womb <laughs> when you were you already had a fighting chance when you brought your ass in this world so that was enough going through that shocker of knowing somebody that placed you in a human suit you know and just shocked you out of your life and said hey <laughs> we need you to do this so we, let me go ahead and dump you know all these tragedies on you that that's enough to have to deal with going through all those different phases is no joke but you know being able I, I mean when I can step back and look at the perspective in a positive sense you know knowing that my tragic situation I can be an open book to be able to help others to guide towards their way you know it took a lot of comfort you know strength for me to be able to open up and tell the things that I tell you know because that really is a sensitive subject especially if you have a loved one that has passed the well is enough your your you know your father to be very well known and it, it just came a gift towards you know things I really had to look at it in a way where you know why did this have to happen to me you know uh, what what am I here for what am I supposed to help somebody <laughs> is, is what I'm gonna say matters and it's like I get validations every day you know it allows me to know my tragedy was not in vain um, 
the things that I had went, went through had a purpose of going through that, to be able to help others along the way while they're going through their awakening to let you know you're not alone. Um, you get aware, uh, awareness here. You know, you get loving vibes here. You know, I got lovely family members, no matter if they're brother or sisters, you know, sending out love towards people. We all need that. We have all been through traumatic experiences within our lives that really has broken it in, in the program. You know, knowing all these different things has came about, you know, a lot of people has been shunned away. They've been, you know, people thought they were afflicted or didn't want to be bothered with you because they felt like there was something seriously wrong with you. I've, you know, I, I grew up um, with a, a parent that, you know, was welcoming towards that because my mom was an empath as well. You know, um, she was like a Native American as well. She had a beautiful chocolate skin, but she had wolf-like eyes, you know, it's just like you can see them across the room, which was very scary. You know, but it was just like you didn't find too many people that had blue eyes like her, especially for her complexion because she was so mel melanated. So going through all of that, you know, she felt comfort to know that, you know, I was very special. Even though I couldn't project that out in front of her husband, she would allow me to do that when he wasn't around. And, you know, being able to have her in my life, even though she's no longer here on the physical, but she definitely has my back a hundred times fault throughout all this, you know, it's truly been a blessing to me to be able to know I had a mom that supported those things, even though she had a really, you know, time, a, a really tragic situation. Um, being able to know that you can live for you, you know, I tell anybody, go with your heart. Don't worry about what people say is your life. This is your journey. Not everybody is supposed to understand your journey. That's why it's yours. You know, everybody is doing their part. Everybody has their way of living. We all are trying to get through you know, the crazy situations that have been placed on us. It's already hard enough to seek forgiveness for people that have, you know, damaged you mentally, sexually, emotionally, verbally, physically, any kind of abuse you, you had to endure, you know, that was enough. But, you know, you having to walk around and have to be, you know, feeling different, knowing that you, you know, people try to label you, people try to place you in a box. You know, you're not supposed to fit in. You're not, you're very unique. You're gifted. You know, I don't really feel like you're cursed. It's just that God blessed you a lot more than he blessed regular people. So you always had that mission. You know, we're going through karmic cycles and, you know, generational curses and all these different things. And, you know, we're all going to win. We're going to be those ones that cuts those cords. You know, uh, we, we signed up for this many millenniums ago. You know, when you know you're living for yourself, bump what anybody else says about who you are you know who you are you might not know everything about you but in due time you will know and you should be able to walk around proud to be who you are you never should sit up here and stop being you because somebody feels uncomfortable about it you know you're supposed to be happy regardless if anybody else gets uncomfortable about your happiness you know if they they get uncomfortable about your happiness that means they weren't supposed to be in your life in the first place so, you know, live your life to the fullest, you know, we, we don't have that much time here and you shouldn't have to spend it being miserable because of what other people think or how people perceive you or people will get you. You know, it just, I just always tell people, don't worry about the people that fell out your life. You don't worry about the people that talk behind your back. That's the reason why they're behind your back in the first place. You know, uh, I feel like the right people that care for you, not even worried about what you know what issues you got everybody got issues everybody's fighting their own battle we just got different demons we got to deal with you know going through that time of you know being empathic uh what is it independence <laughs> i had my own word up in there being an empathic independence can be a blessing but it's just all how you're able to look at your situation yeah at first I thought my mind was a curse but then when i see all the trauma that i went through it was very hard you know, there's times that I still go through it, but it's just like now I, I thank heavens every day. Knowing that I can be able to make sense out of somebody else's mind, being able to help guide their way, being able to assist that, you know, that was my blessing. That was me being able to, you know, use my platform to be able to help others make sense of, you know, their, their tragic situations, being able to know that you will get through this. It's just up to you how long did you, you know, you plan to go through that, that, that circle of life through being somewhat damaged um knowing that you will get through these things you will heal 
um, you have to be able to just look at it in a positive light. Why did I have to go through this situation? What is my situation trying to teach me? You know, um, everything is a lesson to you. And it ends up being a blessing as well. Because it's just like when I know I can send comfort to somebody, I mean, I cry tears of joy when I know I can make somebody happy and tell them, you know, you're not by yourself. You know, you're you're welcome here. I would never treat you differently because of who you are. You're very extraordinary. You know, you wouldn't be going through things you've gone through if you weren't. So it's just like you have to be able to take certain things with a grain of salt. You know, not everybody's going to like you. If you're a hell good, there ain't going to be that many people that, you know, that you're going to be some people that are going to bump heads with you. But there's going to be some people that will be having your back as well and love you just for who you are. So it, it's just like we have that thing where we bring out the darkness in front of people that we project what's in them. And a lot of people aren't comfortable with that, but hey, it is what it is. But be proud to be who you are. You know, live your life for you. You should. You deserve to be happy. You deserve to be stable. <laughs> Even though, you know, you went through some crazy things, but you deserve to have all the happiness in the world. The things you're working towards, nobody should be able to be the judge and jury about that unless it's the universe that does that. But, you know, they're placing these things on you for a reason. And you'll be blessed alkaloids and alkaloids, whatever that word is, you know, ten times fold just for going through the things you had to go through. So I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. I love y'all so much. And I hope and pray that you get everything that you've been working hard for. Knowing the trials and the tribulations is almost over your ending a tragic cycle. We're breaking cords. Your 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 old door to your old life is closed and the hell shut. They brought the hammer it shut. And your open life of blessings are on their way towards you if they haven't got there yet. So my post notification goes out to let me see who else, who else, who else? Sassy Miss K. Um Spirit of the East Journey Work Healing. And with expectancy, much love to you as well. And I will see you on my next video. Like and subscribe. Drop me a line and let me know you resonate with this. Share. Give me a thumbs up. And send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, forever loved. And knowing there's always somebody praying out there for your better days. I pray for y'all each and every day. I love you so much. And I'll see you on my next video. Send out as much love and light and positivity as you can. Peace.